howdy. Movie Stockade is another of the new molds of the old Spark Power subline. His alt mode is based on the Sector 7 SUVs that you can see about halfway through the film. But to avoid licensing issues, they made small changes, mainly in the mold and paint detailing. There is a fair amount of both to break up the otherwise dull colour scheme of black. I especially like the silver used for the wheels and grille. It's generally proportionate to the real vehicle and there are no obvious robot parts sticking out either. If you want to be picky you can vaguely see the fists through the front windows. Fortunately the plastic used for these windows is pretty dark so at least this isn't a glaring problem. The alt mode is also very solid and rolls well on most surfaces but there are no proper gimmicks otherwise. It just makes a great display piece overall. I think a similar sort of vehicle would be great for a classics trailbreaker figure. Time to transform him now. It's a pretty simple conversion for a deluxe. There are no automorphs with this one either, which I imagine most fans will approve of. Stockade's robot mode has quite a bit of personality to it. He's proportion like high score in how his arms are bulkier and longer than his legs. His chest is also rather broad. All this gives him the appearance of a brute. The mold detailing here is good, like most movie line robots, and there's plenty of all spark blue paint apps to break up the general colour scheme, which taken by itself isn't very eye catching. His articulation is decent, but his hulking arms can cause balance issues. But once you get past that, he can stand in plenty of dynamic poses. And, in what is a rarity for a deluxe, his fingers can actually open. The main gimmick is surprisingly nifty. If you pull on these roof rack pieces, his fists extend. And to retract them, you push the rack pieces in the other direction. Most punching gimmicks tend to be pretty corny, but not this one. At least it's not dodgy, like Barricade's spring-loaded claw. My main problem with this mode is that these windows hang off the end of his arms and shoulders without locking in place. For the front windows you can fold them in, but then they get in the way of his gimmick. This isn't the worst flaw ever on a figure, but it can't be neglected. Overall, despite his faults, Stockade's still a pretty good toy. And considering he's one of the only new molds in this subline, you might want to check him out. That's all for today. I'll do another video ASAP. But until then, till all I want.